What is up everyone, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. This is Corvus OS V14.5, the build which I have installed on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, a mere tool device which is actually Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. I thought I should share with you my opinions about Corvus OS after the March security patch but after using this room for some time, maybe more than 48 hours right now, I thought I should share with you my opinions that this room is really quite good. It comes with default launcher, might, might be the Corvus launcher which includes all the interesting features like it has the hidden and protected apps feature which is an app log and including that we have other options which a google pixel launcher always has and some extra features like the icon pack support notification dots and all those features and swipe down to clear all the recents so very interesting kind of feature it also includes the google feed tab if you want to enable this google feed tab you can simply enable if you don't want to enable that you can simply disable that so these are some interesting features which you get in corvus os default launcher and this is official build so yes there might not be some etc kind of bugs you can simply use this room as your daily driver if you want to and default wallpaper is now looking good including this very interesting kind of drawer opacity this looks quite impressive the dock capacity op opacity is good if you talk about the quick settings yes you can adjust that you can simply set the quick settings footer text it's just up to you including that you can adjust a lot of things it also have the screen recording option available where you can simply record from microphone Shoot at is on screen, but it doesn't include the FPS info and bitrate and other options. So this might be the thing which is lacking. But the thing is, it still have all those features. You can simply record your gameplay if you want to play PUBG and etc. You can simply record your gameplay if you want to. And also that screen record option is available in the power menu options also. So it's just up to you if you want to use it from the quick settings, if you want to access it from the quick settings, or if you want to access it from the power menu the thing which i didn't liked much about this build is the snapdragon camera pre-installed there might be google camera go edition there might be other options but it has this kind of option available so this is the thing which you need to keep in mind but yes as always we have the gcam options available and like that we have the gcam 8.1 installed in which almost everything seems to be working i'm using this gcam from some time it doesn't include any kind of details for this gcam 8.1 but yes this is gcam 8.1 you already saw my review on gcam gcam 8.1 maybe and like that this includes all those features if you want to use a portrait mode if you want to use a camera mode you can simply use and the best part is you can simply record videos in 4k but 4K 30fps is supported, 4K 60fps is not supported, but the 1080p 60fps is supported and working very well. Including that the drawer opacity is kind of an issue and it is it includes this brightness slider options available. You can simply simply scroll from your status bar if you want to increase or decrease your brightness on your device brightness. So these are some interesting features. Including that it also includes a Dolby Audio pre-installed. This is kind of a Moto Dolby Audio. If you want to use it, you can simply use it and it is available pre-installed. You don't need to configure anything. If you want to use these kind of things, you can simply use them. I also have a dedicated video that how you can install this Dolby Atmos on your device. So if you want to install it, it's just up to you. Let's take a look at the CPU throttling test that how is the performance so far. In my case, I got these kind of things you can see in this graph right now. Sometimes this performance is decreasing. So the thing which I was looking for that this is Corvus OS, this might be one of the performance focused rooms, but this might not be one of those because we have other rooms which has better kind of CPU throttling tests right now, test results. But in this room, the CPU throttling test results are not that much up to the mark. So it's up to you if you still want to use it or if you don't want to use it. I just wanted to share with you all those stuff which I got there and also let me share with you some other things about this thing that I try to play some games here like it's fall line etc. I also got just little bit of not much but just bit of lags and bit of frame drops so maybe just in my case maybe it's not in your case because I'm using 4GB RAM variant also maybe if you're using 6GB RAM variant this the results might be different one but not sure. Uh, let me share with you some settings of Corvus OS, some advanced customization features like the lock screen, battery clock, icon, quick settings, etc. 
we have all those important options available the theming includes many kind of options of course you can simply change the ASIN color and the font type there are many fonts options available and including that we have the Samsung Ubuntu OnePlus etc the icon shapes customizable the status bar icons are customizable quick settings customizable so customizations or you can see the theming is quite great you can simply theme a lot of things on your device including that we have the face lock option available in the security tab these are some interesting features which i just wanted to let you know these were the things and this was all from today's short and simple video of Corvus OS the latest build and the new build is coming very soon which i am going to share with you thanks for watching and goodbye